Take a closer look at the thousands of buildings spread out across New York City, and you'll find a series of interconnected systems of many different functions and activities, along with an overwhelming amount of data. Today, many of the systems that constitute a building, like heat, water, and electricity, are managed independently and often inefficiently, while the data they generate is often difficult to access or make sense of, resulting in a lot of energy waste. In New York City, where buildings account for 75% of the city's greenhouse gas emissions each year, it's unreasonable to build brand new energy-efficient buildings from the ground up. But what if you could use technology to sift through critical business data to make school structures more energy efficient and more cost effective? Members of the New York City Department of Education and the City University of New York, also known as CUNY, asked IBM this question as they began to think about new ways to improve energy efficiency in the city's public school buildings. IBM's answer was to invite them into its labs, where researchers were working on advanced analytics and statistical modeling technologies that could provide insights into the everyday operations of buildings, including energy usage. And so, another first-of-a-kind project was born. To get started, a team from IBM and CUNY began analyzing energy consumption data from the 1,200 public school buildings in the city's five boroughs. Their goal was to come up with a way to make the city's schools much more energy efficient through analytics and learn from it. The system that was created lets facility staff track and analyze energy use, compare school buildings' energy efficiency, forecast power needs, and run simulations on building improvements to predict the benefits of various retrofitting projects. For example, a facility's department manager or custodian could run the tool click on the simulation capability, and find out how much energy could be saved by replacing old single-pane windows with double-pane windows. Also, heating energy used in one building could be compared with that of a nearby building of similar size and age. Perhaps that building serves the same number of students, but consumes 20% less energy. To improve the less efficient facility, facility staff could explore retrofitting projects through computer simulations. Adding advanced analytics and visualizations to the school building's energy consumption data and getting data into the hands of property managers and facility staff could go a long way toward contributing to the city's goal of reducing its municipal carbon footprint by 30 percent by 2017. And IBM hopes to roll out the system to other schools across the country. The system also has the potential to drive powerful improvements in all types of buildings. IBM is already working with thousands of organizations globally to optimize the energy usage and equipment efficiency in office buildings, campuses, resorts, and hospitals. The CUNY project stands to benefit not only New York City school buildings, but also the 1.1 million students within. IBM and CUNY are training teachers on the system's interactive features, which can help examine real energy use and translate it into tangible classroom lessons on environmental impact. As the City University of New York is discovering, bringing greater intelligence and connectedness into a building's operations can go a long way toward creating a truly integrated and smarter building system, while reducing energy consumption and developing energy-conscious students along the way. And as all the folk projects are proving, it is the dynamic nature of this close interaction with IBM clients and the changing forces of the real world that drives innovation and brings it to market at an ever-quickening pace. The end.